In the previous episode, we went to a planet called Agria, where we successfully rescued colonists. Now, Dr. Henson, who was originally part of those colonists, decided to join us on the Hyperion after the events wrapped up. And of course, we are still trying to collect as many credits as we possibly can, so hopefully we can fight the Zerg. I gotta say though, the music, absolutely incredible in the cantina right here. Let's have a quick little look at the news. It's Donny Vermillion. Donny Vermillion, I love UNN. Him. We've got Kate Lockwell on remote feed from Agria, a fringe colony. Are you there, Kate? Okay, we seem to be having a sound problem with... I'm being told Emperor Mansk is going to address us directly. Let's take you to his announcement already in progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear, and it's my pleasure to announce that they'll soon be led by the hero of Taurus himself. General Horace Warfield. Warfield? I thought he retired years ago. With General Warfield at the helm, and our finely honed Dominion military under his command, I have every confidence that this new Zerg threat will be contained very soon. There you have it, viewers. With Warfield in command, the Zerg Swarm will be defeated in no time. Up next, Raynor ups his campaign of terror just as the Zerg reappear. Coincidence? You decide after these messages. The propaganda is on point. Once again, I'm not all too surprised. All right. Uh, let's have a quick little look right here what Tigus has to say about the situation. You meet Dr. Hansen yet? Sure did. I asked that sweet thing if she'd like to give me a physical. No harm in asking, right? I think she's got her eye on some pansy ass, though. Yeah? Who might that be? Oh, I don't know. Some white knight kind of guy came charging down to save a colony, maybe. Damn, Jimmy. You never could read the ladies. So, you can't really get out of your suit anyway, right? I mean, I don't even want to... I don't really want to get into the details, Tigus, but I am curious as to how that would work. Because you seem to be uh, locked up inside of that marine suit. Anyway, so let's see if there's any new mercenaries, maybe. You came to the right place. I think so too, Hill. Do you have anything new for me? There are now, apparently, the Devil Dogs. They are two elite fire bats. Okay, so that cost me 25,000 credits. I don't really want to... I don't really want to get them right now, but I may very well go back in just a little bit to see what's going on. Now, I do notice, by the way, uh, I do notice, by the way, that the laboratory is glowing. I first want to go ahead and have a quick little look at the bridge. Is there anything new here? We'll go to the laboratory in a Stedman little bit. says he's got the lab up and running. Oh. You should go down there and check it out. Is he creating uh, Sir, artificial... Sir, Stedman says Yo. he's on the verge of a breakthrough in the lab. <laughs> you should go talk to him. Is he producing terrazine yet? That's the only thing I care about, okay? It sure felt good rescuing those folks. But there's millions more out there that need help, too. We can't be everywhere at once, sir. The important thing is that we set an example and gave them hope. Every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road to a better future. I know, Matt. Beautiful. But it's been four years and we're still no closer to bringing Manx down. Now with the Zerg back in the mix, your better future needs to hurry up and get here, or there's going to be no one left to see it. He's also known as uh, Matt Motivational Speaker Horner. Absolutely incredible. Miss, uh, Miss Hansen, what's up? I've heard a lot about you, Commander. I guess it's Dr. Hansen. The Excuse Dominion me. always portrayed you as a criminal, terrorist. There's more to you than it seems. Well, with the Dominion being what it is, someone's got to stand up for the little guy. It sure ain't gonna be Mengsk. Doesn't seem like the Emperor cares at all. My people from Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. There are reports of violence and disease spreading throughout the camps, but the Emperor's done nothing. I'll look into it, Doc. Oh, no. I just saved your people, and you're already, like... You're kind of ungrateful, uh, or whatever. Let's go to the lab. Oh, there he is. I love Commander, it. Commander, the alien artifact is all secure in the lab, sir. You know, seeing it got me to thinking about my special projects. Whoa, slow down, Stedman. What do you mean, projects? You doing some kind of research down here? Yeah, well, you know, not yet, sir. I still need some additional specimens to get things going. Once I get those, we can make some big improvements to our weapon systems and tactics. Well, I'm all for that. What do you need? 
All kinds of things. I've entered the details into our database. If you run into something on a mission that we need, you'll be notified automatically. Just try not to blow up the ship. Okay, Stepman? I love Stepman. Stepman is awesome. By the way, I've noticed every single time, and maybe someone knows knows what's going on, but on like the left sleeve of Rainer's shirt, there is like this this like square looking pack looking thing. I've always sort of assumed that it's like a pack of cigarettes or whatever, but what is it? Does anyone know? I keep seeing it in all of the cutscenes as well. I'm not entirely sure why he's got like that that thing underneath his his shirt sleeve. It's a little bit odd. Maybe someone can go ahead and tell me down below in the comment section. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm just very innocent and it's like very obvious. But anyways, let's have a look at the artifact. Oh, Commander, Commander, Commander. I've been giving these artifacts some thought. Oh, don't worry. I know what you're going to say. I haven't been running diagnostics on them or anything. Well, at least not directly at any rate. Just spit it out, son. Well, sir, when the second piece was added, the ambient containment field spiked drastically. Hmm, huh? I know. If we add any more pieces, we'll need to draw even more power from the ship's fusion core to maintain the field. So holding these things is dangerous and expensive. Well, the sooner we get them off my ship, the better. We still don't really know what we're going to do with them. Apparently, uh, they want to they wanna buy them or something. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the research uh, console. What is this? Yeah, so indeed. There we go. All of the uh, Zerk research, as well as the Protoss research that I have been picking up during the missions, will now allow me to get more and more upgrades. So obviously, the longer that this goes on, the more, you know, research we will also collect, and therefore we can get stronger and stronger uh, researches. There are some here that are absolutely incredible, but I believe, I believe I can only choose one. Alright, so we can go with either the Shrike turret, this outfits all bunkers with an automated turret, or we can go with the fortified bunker. Bunkers gain 150 life. No, we are definitely going to be going for the Shrike turret. It's just... It's more fun, right? I mean, armor is fun as well, but it's not nearly as fun as having a freaking turret right on top of the bunker. I know that the other one is probably better, but anyways. We have developed an automatic turret that comes standard with all bunkers. This turret, which is based on our studies of spore crawlers, adds extra firepower to manned bunkers and also allows unmanned bunkers co to contribute to base defense. Uh, yeah, getting this will prevent me from re- Okay, yes, it's done. That is one of the unique things about the Wings of Liberty campaign compared to, I believe, Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void. Like, a lot of these researches you pick are essentially permanent. I mean, for example, I'm gonna go over to the armory right now. Um, I can't really do anything new here. Did I actually pick on... Uh, I, I don't think I clicked this previously. Although the Marauder suit is modified from the CMC-660 Firebat suit, the soldier inside is very different. 47% of Marauder operators have never even been to jail, and only 23% of them have been accused of murder. <laughs> only 23! Wow, incredible. The Marauder Grenade Autoloader is stoked, uh, or stocked with component parts that allow it to quickly manufacture and load hundreds of standard Punisher grenades. That is awesome! Actually, I've never realized that you can read information about it. Let's have a look at the Firebat then, too. They kind of do look similar. The firebat suit contains a volatile mix of gases that seep into the operator compartment. This may explain why firebat personnel are almost universally re-socialized criminals or psycho uh, psychotic pyromaniacs. Wow, incredible. They actually have very similar animations as well. Perdition flamethrowers spew combusto plasma at enemy targets. The plasma easily seeps into gaps in zerk car carapaces, and smaller zerk creatures are literally cooked alive inside of their own skins. Fire washes the skin of the bone and the sin of the soul. It cleans away the dirt, and my mama didn't raise herself no dirty boy. Franco Tilden, widely credited as the first fighting firebat, reformed mass murderer. Wow, okay, the Terran Dominion is just, uh, or I guess this is technically not part of the Terran Dominion, but the Terran in general are, are a lovely species. Very, very generous. Alright, let's have a look at the Army Console, or the Armory Console, rather. So now I can go ahead and get Firebat upgrades as well. I honestly don't know if I really want to. Firebats gain 40% larger attack area, that is pretty good. They also gain plus 2 armor, there are some really good ones over here. Um, you know what? We can probably choose between either the Firebat or the Marauder. It's pretty tricky to, uh, to pull off both of them. Although, I really do want to get this one first, though. It's 105 credits. 
But medics heal targets 25% faster and they use less energy. It's, it's, it's too good. It's too good. I'm sorry. If I plan on like playing marines and medics, this upgrade is just simply too good. So we'll, uh, we'll spend all of our credits right there. Alrighty. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me just go ahead and double check that real quick. There is nothing else that I can really click on. Unless I maybe missed something. I thought for a second there was going to be another cutscene, but no, that's not going to be the case. But look, this thing is what I'm talking about. You see that thing right there on his, on his left sleeve? I don't really know what that is. Anyways, let's have a look at the star map. Before I'm blabbering on. For hours and hours and hours. And there's Meinhof, by the way. I think we're going to be going to the Devil's Playground. I don't even want to know what Meinhof is all about. Tosh! I hear the mighty Jim Rainer's on the move, but short on funds. The planet Redstone's got the most valuable minerals around. And with the Zerg invasion, the Kilmorians backed up and left it all behind. Some enterprising men could turn a big profit there. Meet me at Redstone if you want a piece of the action. If I recall correctly, this is probably the best mission of the entire campaign. It's called the Devil's Playground. We need to exploit research, uh, resources rather on Redstone. We get 110,000 credits as well as 3 Zerg research. And the available technology in the new unit that we get is the Reaper. A raider capable of jumping up and down cliffs. Brutal has been selected. Let's go. Here we go. Redstone system. Redstone. Heck of a place. <laughs> I ever mention how much I hate volcanic planets? Good to see you made it. They call me Taj. You're awesome, Taj. You help me mine the minerals I need, and I'll make it worth your while. What's the catch? Well, this place is a little unstable. The low ground gets flooded with lava every few minutes. Of course, that's where the richest mineral nodes are found. But that'll be no problem for a big, tough guy like you. He's always Sir, so condescending. I'm also picking up Zerg biosignatures on the surface. Of course. We'll need to spend some of what we mine just to defend the operation. The more we spend, the longer this is going to take. Uh, lava and Zerg. Two of my favorite things. Let's do this. These are just a few of my favorite things as well. Here we are, absolutely wonderful. So these mineral patches are not looking particularly healthy, but we need to go ahead and obtain 8,000 resources. I guess we'll get started with some marines right here as well. Looks like we're actually started off right here on this little base. I want to have a quick little peek around, see if there's anything interesting over here. But I believe very soon I'm going to be able to make reapers, and reapers are so cool. Oh. Is that, is that the alarm? Can I... Alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. All right. Lava's rising. Get those SCVs to high ground right That's now. That's what I'm trying to do. We're already at 350. Yo, 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 yo. What are these things? Are those like little Zerg creatures that are trying to also hide? That's actually kind of cute. What's going on? All right. So we will have to try. We will have to try. And mine from several different angles at once. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. You gonna give me Can I get reapers? How do I make them? Uh, reapers, reapers. They're not actually showing up just yet. I can go ahead and also make some medics just like this, by the way. That's going to be pretty helpful. We should probably go ahead and get a gas here just in case as well. But let's do a little bit of exploration. While we see how this mission develops. So there's actually some more minerals right over here as well. Also going to be pretty far away. I likely have to lift the command center in order to mine those. It's actually somewhere some over here. Friends coming to help you out. Reapers. Reapers, you say? Hell, cowboy, we gotta train more of these guys. They're seriously badass. They are badass. Woo! Alright. Well, if we are indeed gonna do that, I think we'll go ahead and uh, obviously... Take some of these jetpack raiders and move them around the map to do some scouting. They can obviously jump up and down cliffs, which is super helpful. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to try and make as many of those as we can. Uh, can I make them already? I can. I should go ahead and saturate these gases then. Some of my boys disappeared in this area. Want to see if they're still alive? I would like to see if they're still alive. Sure. Ooh. 
Wow, Loco, well done. I just ended up losing one of my Reapers for essentially free because they could have just killed that very easily. Yo. Tosh sent you to help? About time. Let's finish up this contract and get the hell off this planet. All right, you go ahead and start mining over there. There's probably going to be some uh, some areas to deal with. Uh, sir, sir, uh, scanners show a large biosignature close to your position. A brutalisk, I think. If you could kill it, that'd get my uh, our research off to a flying start. <laughs> I love it. So we get, I think we get all the biomass, yeah, from that single brutalisk. That does mean that we have to try and get that, though. Oh, we actually have to get a tech lab on this thing. I forgot about that. Obviously, back in Wings of Liberty, you did need tech labs in order to make this. Also, apparently, I was mining with a little bit too many SCVs right there. All right. Very good. Anyway, the Brutalisk is a pretty interesting little unit. It's going to be really strong. I will likely have to kill that with not just... Yeah, not just not just Reapers. That's what I'm trying to, trying to get at. All right. Get out. Actually, you probably... I hope you can just float. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Are these Zerg actually gonna die over here? I don't know how this works. Alert. Lava surge imminent. Got more. Thank you. Whew, man. Just a reminder, sir. The more minerals we expend on forces, the longer yeah. it's going to take to reach our goal. I know. I have to try to not macro. I have to try to not macro. It's pretty interesting. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Okay, you guys, get over there. Um, so we have to try and clear out as much as we can. I don't know if they're going to actually be attacking our base as well. Wouldn't be surprised. I did make a couple of depots just now, right? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say. Very good. Uh, let's do a little bit of scouting around then. There's a... Uh, there's Zerklings! Wow, okay. That was unfortunate. I just lost a whole lot. I was gonna say, I think I'm okay, but... That is kind of unfortunate. We all likely have to defend and also, like, move around the map just like this, continuously. There's, there's a lot of resource out on the map, though. That makes this quite a bit easier. This one is already mined out. Um, I think I'm actually going to be lifting this one up over there then and pushing that direction while you guys defend that area. And we're still going to try and make a pretty big army. We need to collect quite a lot of resources. Actually, there's like a double mining base over here. Since you do it right by me, I'll do right by you. Here's the coordinates of the nearest mineral nodes. Thank you very much, Tosh. Uh, I want to... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. We'll go over there later. <laughs> We'll go over there later. I think we'll uh, I think we'll be okay for now. I do have to be careful though. This is gonna be Holtki F1 and you're gonna be Holtki F2 right over here. I don't really wanna I don't really wanna go over there just yet. We will likely have to wait until the next like wave happens. Ooh, well. Okay. I'm still trying to make quite a lot of units as well. I do think that makes sense. Okay. Oh, do they, th do they still throw grenades? Yeah, they do! Obviously, in the multiplayer version of StarCraft, right, they changed these units up quite a bit. But uh, this is working out quite well already. Um, so we need 8,000 resources. The question is, where am I going to be able to mine all of that? Anyway, we'll just wait for, like, the next wave to come in. And once that happens... There we go. That's a good spot, actually. Once that happens, we're going to move out towards the Brutalisk. If we can. I'm still making quite a lot of units here. Um, we can even get some war picks going and some hammer securities. All right, we have to like. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Alert! Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. It is important for us. Now we tried to not like lose everything, right? I also need to make sure that I don't spend all of my money. I'm gonna queue up some more units that are gonna be meant for like base defense. But this hit, like this entire hit squad that I've got right now, is all gonna be dedicated to uh, to killing the bonus objective. I don't know if we can do that right now already. Would we'll be a little bit greedy, I think. But 
I've got way too many SCPs as well. Some of you guys need to be over there. All right. All right, let's go ahead and save, just in case. The Devil's Playground. It's a bit of a risky area to move out into, I think. Let's see how we can do. Oh, wow. Actually, it's absolutely shredded. It's absolutely murdered. Three Zerg economy? Or three Zerg research, just like that? Um, the question is, though, do I have enough resources around here to actually defend everything? This is a really fun mission, though. I really like this. It's kind of like the co-op map, right? Although the co-op map can be a lot more frustrating than this. Okay. Yeah, we need uh, we need quite a lot of money. I think I'm actually done making units right now. I don't really need any more units. Question is though, where are we gonna mine from next? Maybe over here. It's a little bit risky for me. Because right now, I'm kind of just leaving that base completely unattended, right? I'm gonna actually send part of my army over in that direction then. Alright, right now we're just gonna flood. I don't really want to make any more units if I don't have to. Let's see if we can kill this. Okay. Is there anything... Yeah, there's a lot of money here as well. Look at that. Woo! Give me all of that. Hope I don't actually lose too much here. I'm actually gonna make a couple more medics. I think I should. Already mined out again? Okay, maybe you guys can head out over here then. The brutal difficulty does make this a, a pretty tricky mission though. Oh, really? Do I still have any Reapers? Uh, I'm gonna have to make some of those as well. I scanned for mineral outcrops before we landed. Sinted more data to you now. Well, actually, I don't actually have a lot of units anymore. I was a little bit worried here that I uh, was gonna lose my base, but. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Okay. Alert. I wonder if I actually overextended here. Evacuate low ground immediately. Scare me. Um. Yeah, this is not uh, not ideal. I just lost pretty much everything here. Okay. Um. That is really quite unfortunate. I kind of spread out all of my units, thinking that that was gonna be okay. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Yeah, that's really kind of dumb. Um, I think I played a little bit too aggressively right there. I don't think I was supposed to play it like that. I may actually end up losing the command center even. Oh no, that's bad. I send out some SCVs to hopefully catch this. They will keep it alive for now. Really? Oh snap, I really spread out my units. A lot. Thinking I was gonna be just fine, because I had a lot of units there already. I think, uh, like, splitting them all off was just a little bit too greedy there. I still have a lot of money. No, I think, I think we have to redo this. I think we're gonna have to restart and, like, not spend all of our resources. Um, or, like, not stop uh, spending all of our resources that quickly. I just didn't have enough units. Alright, here we go again. This time around, we're gonna play this a little bit better. I split off my command centers really aggressively there, and I also started roaming with a group of units. I just barely didn't have enough for it, right? I got some friends coming yeah. to help you out. I like those. Reapers. Thank you very much, Tosh. Reapers, you say? Hell, cowboy, we gotta train more of these guys. They're seriously badass. All right, we're gonna head over towards that side of the map real quick. I want to get that second command center going ASAP. I think that's kind of important for us. We can use the Reapers as part of our army, but I do think we uh, we gotta make a mix of units, not just Reapers. Tosh sent you to help? About time. Let's finish up this contract and get the hell off this planet. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's what we'll do, right? Instead of just going pure Reaper... Well, we'll still make a lot of Reapers, don't get me wrong. Just a but... reminder, sir. 
more minerals we expend on forces, the longer it's going to take to reach our goal. Yes, Horner. Try to be economical. Got no time to be economical right now, sir. Actually, I want to wait for just a little bit. I also want to set up a bunker over here just for runbys later on. I think that's smart. I don't want to, like, wall myself in all too much either, right? That would be a little bit silly. I think it's even worth getting, like, um... Uh, sir, sir, yeah. uh, scanners show a large biosignature close to your position. A brutalisk, I think. If you could kill it, that'd get my, uh, our research off to a flying start. There we go. So I'm just trying to make sure that we are, you know, going to be capable of defending as well as attacking, right? We need to get a lot more units. So I'll probably build up to, like, at least, like, say, I'm thinking, like, 120-ish supply. Right? Get some upgrades going as well on my units, and then we'll start saving up. I'll likely have to expand rather far out on the map, but it'll be... It'll be better than what we've had so far. I also need to get more medics. Medics are really good. Uh, let's go ahead and make marauders in you. We'll queue up two medics over there. And then also, we'll want to make more of the Reaper, man. More of the Jetpack Raiders. There we go. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. We just can't forget about the bonus objective, by the way. I don't know exactly where I can defend or where I can expend to. Okay, more and more of the Reaper Man. Let's queue up plus two armor. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna get any income here for a bit, eh? Very good. Okay, you go ahead and land again. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Come on. Not enough minerals. We'll do some long distance mining for the gas. It's not too big of a deal. Okay, let's get some of you guys right over there. We're gonna leave part of our army safe, and then I'm gonna roam with the Reapers. What about that? We roam with the Reapers. Yeah, I think that's smart. So let's make sure that we pick up as many of these resources that are all over the place. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of resources over there too. We gotta be careful though. Jumping up and down like this, it's pretty risky. Okay. So already we got a quite a quite a nice little setup here. I think I'm actually gonna get these two. And that does mean that I want to get myself some more supply depot set up too. Sit you to it right by me. I'll do right by you. He is the coordinates of the new spiral Gotta be careful though, they don't heal up nearly as quickly as they uh as they normally do in the multiplayer version of SC2 right now. You think there's more? I really don't know. Yeah, there's quite a lot of resources. Woo! Look at that! So much! The fact that they can throw grenades, though, they used to be able to do this in the multiplayer of SC2 as well. Look at the damage on the buildings. It's pretty insane. Okay, let's go ahead and continue mining with you guys. And then all of you. I want you to, like, defend over here, I think, for a little bit. Okay, very good. Woo! There's a lot of stuff to pick up. All right, I do have to careful. I do have to be careful that I don't overextend, though. Yeah, I'm kind of losing a lot here. Was that a burrowed bailing? I think it was. All right, still got a lot of money coming in here. There's actually some more over here. Oh, kind of losing a little too much now, but okay. It's time to get out again. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Woo! All right, very good. Alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. I think we're gonna mine these two here next. That probably makes the most sense. Yep, I like that. That means that probably some of you can go in here just to defend this ramp. I don't know how good the bunker or the turret on top of the bunker is, but. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Very good. 
Some of you guys need to uh, need to hang back over there, just for defensive sake. This better be good. Okay. Why does he attack so oddly? <laughs> okay, nice. Um, that means that some of you guys need to start floating over here. Did you start flying yet? You did not. You, together with some of them, need to go over here. I will just, like, have you mine off of the different mineral patches. Do you think I should stop making units yet? I don't know exactly where we're gonna be mining from anymore. This is actually a rather tricky, uh, rather tricky area to deal with. There we go. Okay, nice. Let's get some SCVs over there for repairing. I think I'm actually gonna lose some depots there. That's unfortunate, but manageable. Alright. Yeah, I did end up losing some. But, so far so good. Oh, you actually can queue them up. I didn't know you could queue these things up. That's very interesting. Alright, so the question is, where are we gonna go after this? Should I just wait for the next wave to come in before we make a decision? Because this is all going to be mined out very soon. We can probably move off in this direction as well. But this time around, right, I'm, I'm grouping my units up significantly closer to each other. Which I think is smart. Okay, let's get all of you guys over there. And we'll have you float off somewhere over on this side. Because I know the next attack wave is going to be coming in in just a second, right? At least it should be. So if you manage our bases just like this, I think we're going to be in a pretty good position. We've got 3,000. I scanned for mineral outcrops before we landed. Exceeded more data to you now. I wonder if it's possible to like outmine or like mine the entire map. Over there now? Hmm. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. This this base is pretty much mined out as well. It's got a, a little bit more, but. All right, let's have you fly uh, fly ahead a little. We'll probably go over there. This is actually a lot of minerals over there. Comparatively speaking, that is. Come on! Go ahead. Base is all clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Okay. Trying to see if I can potentially get some more of these resources over here. Very nice. This is a tricky mission. Okay, good. I think we do want to push up that ramp too. There's a lot of resources actually just, you know, right over all over the map. Okay, I think we're almost done making, uh, making units. I think this is about all we want to make. Okay, good. Trying to push onwards once again. And look at the amount of army that we have right now. That's a pretty significant difference. Yeah, just picking them up is actually really sick. Fast. We've already got half the minerals we need. Okay, good. Checkpoint saved. Let's go ahead and push off in this direction then. The Reaper Man! I got an achievement! Woo! Look at the amount. Alright, I think we're actually mostly done making units though. I don't know, I'm kinda like I'm kinda worried that I, I don't make enough. Those banelings hurt! Not much I can do about banelings right now at this point in the game, can I? I mean, there's Technically a base I can mine over here. Do it well there, Mr. Reina. We got traces of all You know what? We are gonna have to mine this one too. Oh they actually drop like 
resources out of these buildings that we destroyed too. I didn't quite realize that. All right. Once again, though, gotta be careful that I don't overextend. We got 6,000 minerals in the bank right at this point. Luckily, I've been making quite a few marines. That makes life a little bit easier. Actually, let's have you guys waiting on the high ground. That probably makes life better, too. And I'm actually, like, not hotkeying all of my army right now, interestingly enough. May seem a little bit weird, but I think it's the correct thing to do. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Okay. Alert. Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. There's a lot of Zerk actually just jumping down into the chasms. I don't know why. I still have a lot of Reapers. A lot more than I had anticipated. Did I already pick these ones? Yeah, I did already pick these ones up. All right, let's have you mine over here. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. You gonna give me orders? By the numbers, boy. Okay, very good. And I want to have you guys. I where are you gonna mine next? Right over here somewhere, maybe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a lot of resources over here as well. Actually, some of you guys need to go over here. So we can hopefully do some split mining. Look at the amount of resources over here. That's a lot. Alright, so we got quite a bit of time still to roam. Almost done, Mr. Rena. Just a few more minerals to go. Very good. I don't know if they have fungal growth here. I'm just seeing them drop some of these things. You know what? I don't really want to deal with a brute lord. Why are you guys not mining? Okay. We only need 800 more minerals. I think we're nearly there. Yeah, we are nearly there. All I need to do is just simply sit back and defend what we've got right over here. I can do a little bit of roaming, I guess, with the Reapers that I've got. Maybe see if I can pick up some more resource nodes somewhere. This mineral, uh, this mineral field over here is nice. This is such a cool mission, though. Honestly, I, I think they've done a great job with, like, the creativity of a lot of these missions. Dude, compared to, for example, a lot of the StarCraft 1 missions, they can be a little bit plain. I mean, they're still fun, don't get me wrong, but they can be a little bit, like, more of the same, I guess. Whereas this is, like, all unique and all, like, clearly handcrafted, right? There's actually still a whole bunch of resource for us to pick up over there. We are very close. YOLO in there, Reaper Man! Only 100 remaining. Go, 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 go. We made it. I'm sorry, Reapers. <laughs> All right, boys. Nice work. We got what we came for. Now let's get out of this hellhole. <sighs> That's a hard Seems mission. Still ready. You really are as good as they say, Mr. Rina. That's what she said. I'm thinking you and Wait. I got a lot more business we can be talking about. I love Tosh. Tosh is such a badass character. Kill the Brutalisk with Lava in the Devil's Playground mission on normal difficulty? Wait, you can bait him into the lava? I mean, he just sort of died. We looked at him twice and then he was dead on Brutal. I don't know what it looks like on the normal difficulty, but regardless, we got ourselves the victory on the Devil's Playground. The Hyperion Bridge, 7.32 p.m. shipboard time. Nice work, sir. The payoff from Redstone really got us back on our feet. Why is that Tosh guy aboard? He wanted to talk to you in person, sir. Something about conducting more business ventures together. You do any digging on him? Of course. And he's no pirate. Rumor has it he's a renegade ghost. And until he vanished, he was one of the Dominion's top assassins. Now Manx hates him almost as much as he hates you. Well, I like this guy already. Just the same. We best keep an eye on him. Yes, sir. Good old Tosh! Tosh is one of the one of the fun, like one of the most fun characters in the entire storyline. I think he's really cool. He's so different than all of the other guys. Anyhow, it looks like we have successfully completed another mission. 
And with that, we got currently 115,000 credits at our disposal. I am taking recommendations for upgrades that you think I need to go ahead and pick up uh, before we start off in the next mission. So let me know down below in the comment section of the video what uh, you think I should go ahead and focus on next with the units and whatnot that I've currently got at my disposal. But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I'll see you in the next one.